Hey YouTube, Green Ninja from Dirthead Gaming here, and today I'm bringing you the tutorial for the combination lock. I tried as hard as I could, and I just could not get a four combination lock. Sorry about that, but I have a three combination lock, and this one's a little bit better. This one's a lot better actually than all of the other ones I made because this one has a reset button that just resets automatically. It's really easy to use, and I've adapted it so that it works with buttons. Uh, but it doesn't really matter with actually yeah you, you sort of need the buttons, but uh, so you have to pr so you got uh, the code for this is two three one and the reset code is one, which is there or four which is inside. But um, this is what you, you got to press if you like wait too long to press these you can go like that and then like that then it'll close. So we have to do is go that that that. Oh huh. yeah, it's kind of hard. Um, I might put like a little make. It'll be a bit easier later, but you just go two, three, and it opens. Once you've pressed all three of them, the thing will stay open. It's not going to close on you, so there's no rush to get in because um, that just stays there like that. And then once you're inside, push to close, and it should close. Except I think I actually I accidentally screwed it up last time I did something, but. Yeah, like that. I, I don't know, maybe I just didn't press properly. And then if you when you're inside, so you can just have your house in here for looks I just covered all this stuff up. You can actually put this underground, but I didn't bother to because it's just too simple and it's easier for demonstration. And to open it, you just press that and that does automatically. So then you can go back inside if you can actually do it. Actually, I'm going to put wooden um, buttons here because it just, it's longer delay. Oh god, where did I go? <laughs> Shit. Okay, it's here, here, and here. Is that it? Yeah, so wooden buttons is just a lot easier. And then it just does that. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to build it. Um, actually, it's sort of hard to build. I might not be able to replicate it exactly. Yeah, I won't be able to replicate it, and I'll just screw it up. So, um, an episode's not long, going to be long enough to do that. So, I won't build it. I'll show you in detail how it works, though. So, um, I, and that's just the official seal of approval by the OSOAFCLD, which is the official seal of approval for combination locking doors. Um, I'll show you how this works. I'll just take away the side bit here. Okay. So, the code is 231. I've, yeah, and if you try in different orders, it won't work, but I'm not going to show you that. So, if you press 1 or 3 first, it will send a signal to this piston here. Uh, to, to, sorry, to this repeater, or this repeater which would lock that, and then you wouldn't be able to attempt for another couple of seconds. That's why le levers are a bit better, because you have to reset everything, but for the convenience of being able to reset it, you have to do it this way. Okay, so, uh, but if you press 2, the signal goes through onto a second repeater here, which I actually have no idea why that's there, I don't actually need it there. But actually, I'm going to put a bigger delay on that. Um, just because it'll be, make it easier to get in, which will send a little uh, signal over to here, which will push this piston out. Once this piston is out, uh, you'll have to press number three to make this redstone put a weak um, put a weak current into this, which would be then able to be picked up by that repeater. However, if you press button one first. Uh, the current will go through this line, over here, down over here, and lock that. And then you'd have to just wait until it unlocks, I guess. So, um, yeah, with buttons it's not the most secure, but if you're just doing it for fun, then do it, because it's easy to reset. But then, so if you press 3 then, it will go on up here, and the current will go through here, to here, but because that's locked, it won't work. So the It'll, the door will only open once you press 1 after you press 3 because then it will send a current through here over here to this block which will turn that torch off which will turn that repeater off which would unlock that allowing the current to pass through onto this door 
Um, yeah, and like I said, you can make this underground, and all you don't need any of this wall here. Um, I just did it for demonstration purposes because it makes it a lot easier to see. I can't break them, can I? Seal proof. I'll break that. Um, and why is that? Ah, because that's where the lever, the button. So yeah, guys, thanks for watching this video. Um, uh, I'll yeah. Uh, if you enjoy this video, make sure to leave it a like, or comment, or subscribe, whatever, whatever you do. And, um, yeah, that shows me that you watch these and you want more, because you like them. And I'll be able to do more. So, yeah, so like for more, comment if you want me to do something specific, subscribe for uh, lots more. Uh, you'll see all of them. And... Yeah, this. Yeah, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.